The celebration is underway, and the Bruins attacking quickly. Boy, you are fired up for your return to Pauly as Muhammad misses the game's first shot, puts it in. Oregon State's missing one of their best players, Eric Moreland, serving the third game of a three-game suspension. He's one of the top rebounders of the nation as Muhammad scores the first points for UCLA. In the Pac-12 and 10th in field goal defense. But they are number one in the Pac-12 in offense. And as I say that, they have a mental error and an unforced turnover. Carelessness. If I'm wrong, but are they shooting a thousand percent? They are. They are. Very good man. One Very of the great. things I learned here at UCLA. <laughs> Here's Drew. And a little floater. The aspect of the game. That time forcing the traveling violation. The ball keeps getting kicked ahead here. Great defensive play by Collier and Burton. Muhammad able to gather though and put up an air ball. He is struggling to start this one. You made him nervous. He's over here talking. He's trying to call you Mr. Walton. You said call me Bill. He, he didn't know what to say. It's a steal here. Numbers for UCLA. And Anderson way wild. How do you attack the zone? Flash a man to the high post. Get him the ball there and make him turn and execute with a great pass. And there it was, Anderson, but Ware could not handle a beautiful pass. I'll tell you, the vision of these Beavers, solid as can be. Here's Muhammad spotting up, and he's an excellent three-point shooter, 45%, which leads the Pac-12. He is really, since having to sit out those first three games, waiting for the NCAA ruling, after the first couple weeks, that Missouri game, he scored 27 points. He's been outstanding since. Dave, he's a great catch-and-shoot player. He's not the kind of guy who you just give him the ball and, and let him make one-on-one -on -one plays all along. Here's Powell. He can really stroke it, too. Goggles. No, I believe it was the uh, <laughs> nice pass. Oh, yeah. The pistol. They're going to call an offensive foul on Reed, but a good pass, you're right, by the stuff up on top is, is fine, because remember what Bob Dylan told us. Grow it out, otherwise it stays inside and scrambles up your brain waves. I told you wouldn't win the lottery, right? To have a oh, there gosh. The we have, let's improve the atmosphere here. It is mind-boggling to me how UCLA does not sell out every game here at home. Only 13,000 seats. Anderson into the lane, and Duncan, or Parker, rather, and when they're... Hit straight. It'll be the first time oh! in the season. Nice defense by Muhammad with the block. Here comes Anderson in transition. A right-handed block for the left-handed player. Muhammad gets back down the court in position. With great dribble penetration, Oregon State comes to the hoop. But Shabazz Muhammad, who is excellent, jumping on the run. He gets that block, keeps it in play, and they come back and get an opportunity in transition. Uh, the Irish. Inside seven to play here at Pauley. UCLA leading by six. Here's Adams, got caught in the air and threw it away. They have two eyes, but some just don't see it. <laughs> oh my God. Mohammed throws it away, trying to hit David Ware. Too hard. He's only at top by eight. His own defense, they worked magnificently on offense the last time with Anderson. Mohammed able to knock it down. Number. Anderson with a block on Starks. Ahead to Muhammad. And a nice play. Getting the strip. Nelson. Powell with the reverse layup that was wild. Anderson over the offensive rebound. And hits Muhammad. Now that was a foul. No whistle. That was a foul too. And now. Here's Shoptenar. Can't hit the three. Rebounded by Muhammad. And again, Shabazz racing up the floor. Muhammad down court, can't flip it in, but a late whistle and a foul on the shot. I just love the energy. Muhammad makes a good play in defense, and then he races back to get into the play on offense as Barton picks up the person. They have the complete package, and one thing we're seeing is a guy who loves the limelight. Some people shrivel up when they walk out on that stage. But Shabazz Muhammad... I think the two things that he's got going most for him is that his his hunger to be great and his relentless pursuit of the ball, but then that personality trait that allows him to be better on stage than off.
Muhammad gets the second one, 74% foul shooter. He has eight points. You see how the muscles are starting to develop. Chauvinar's three, not there. And Muhammad, another rebound. Again, looks to push the tempo, but Oregon State back. Inside a minute to go in the first half, UCLA in command. Why, if you're a better team, would you slow it down? Why would you play the clock? If you want a faster game to exploit your superiority. Mind-boggling. Muhammad through the lane, put up an air ball. Nelson gets it back, can't spin it home. Poked out to Muhammad, good if it goes. Oh, just off the mark. Points to lead all of the Bruins scores. Shabazz Muhammad with eight points, three rebounds in the first half. Meanwhile, ten turnovers now for Oregon State. And Muhammad with a three-point opportunity off the pass from Anderson, and UCLA opening it up here early second half. Great defense by the Bruins, but a horrific post-entry pass. You've got to be able to feed the post, please. But that turns into transition opportunities, and with Muhammad working so tirelessly off the ball, and the unselfishness of UCLA basketball, always the hallmark of John Wooden. I was so lucky, Dave. Every coach I ever had as a child was a John Wooden disciple. Picked up by Adams, who challenges on the three-point shot, and it's way off. Not a good possession. They need to get the ball in Joe Burton's hands early in the shot clock. Let him create. Here's Muhammad, and Shabazz can't hit the three. What can Oregon State do to stem this tide? First points for Adams. And UCLA gets possession. And the standard for UCLA over time has never been measured by the opposition. Always been. But what the, the Bruins do themselves. Minutes of his UCLA career. Read inside and a three-point opportunity as Muhammad picks up the foul. Well, the top schools, the top teams right now, Arizona, Washington is playing terrific. Yeah, they're four and zero. And then Oregon. Oh. Muhammad inside, no basket. Got a foul before the shot. The Cavaliers. Daryl Morier, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, looking to see what's out there. Did you have an interest when you got out of playing of, of scouting personnel or coaching? I know you, it's easy to say when they're up 16. I just want a great game with the ball in the air to decide the fate of the known world with the buzzer. Over the top, <laughs> throw it down, big man, throw it down. Muhammad with the jam. Up. One of the things that the Pac-12 is really trying to do by hiring Ed Rush to be the director of officiating is to raise the quality of officiating with a beautifully executed. We desperately need in college basketball a higher level of officiating. There's Parker, got it blocked. Otherwise, you're just going to license mayhem. And what's, and, and what's to keep somebody from just going after a play? I'm, I'm coming from behind a foul a little tiny bit in the way to the basket on breakaway. It was a bad foul. It was called correctly. And disciplined properly according to the rules. As Nelson buries a three, it's a 10-point game. And there's still 10 minutes left. Oregon State was down 20 just moments ago. We give a lot of credit to the Beavers roaring back into the game. Muhammad tries to end the run, and he does. Flashes a three. Oregon State has to go now. It's Collier. Wide ah. shot. I had to get it off. That was a tough shot. Had a defender in his face at the shot clock winding down. Nine minutes to go as Muhammad lost a bad pass by Anderson through his legs. Everything on display, the turnaround jumper off his own creativity, moving without the ball. The quick release, never even putting it down, getting into the paint, one dribble and up, nothing the defense can do about it. Over the top, the throwdown. Everything going right for Shabazz Muhammad, who with points has matched his season average tonight. Solid field goal percentage, pounding it a little bit on the glass, showing why everybody is so excited here. His shot selection, his efficiency, pretty good. He's a fun player. The burden of expectations in the world of hype that, sur that, that just permeates every aspect of the sports world today. That if you make one shot, you're in the Hall of Fame. This guy is a really good player. Is he the next great player in the history of basketball? We'll see. Paul with the steal. Hey, oh, great. In NBA history. I, I think that has a, a lot to do with the way the game is being taught to kids. Nobody's teaching them how to go down and post up in the paint. It's uh, 
it's like a dying art. And uh, I think that's really unfortunate because he held the pack. He held the, he held the conference record for most points ever scored in a game at 61 against Marv Harshman and Washington State. And what was the these memories from the 70s and 60s? <laughs> Bill I used to watch us play, I think. My first time in here was Kareem's final game. In 1969, when they played Santa Clara, Joe Burton's best play of the night right there. 12 points for Burton. Again, I was just... hoping for more from Joe. He, he's one of my favorite players to watch in all college basketball. So UCLA is going to win it, Bill, and a 15-3 record, 5-0 in the Pac-12. Ten straight wins.